Dear friends, have you ever felt weighed down by the burdens of your past? Do regrets and mistakes haunt your thoughts, making it difficult to see a brighter future? Today, I want to share with you a powerful truth that has the potential to transform your life. God has not given up on you. No matter what you've been through, His love remains steadfast, His grace unending. So, together, let's explore how we can let go of past regrets and move forward in faith. Our foundation for today's message comes from Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19, where God speaks tenderly to His people, saying, Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. These words are like a gentle breeze in the midst of life storms, reminding us that even in the darkest times, God is at work, bringing about new beginnings and refreshing our weary souls. The prophet Isaiah penned these words to a people who had experienced exile and hardship. They were longing for restoration, for a glimpse of hope in the midst of despair. And God, in His infinite love and mercy, assures them that He has not forgotten them. He beckons them to let go of the past, to release the burdens that weigh them down, and to trust Him to make all things new. In the New Testament, we find further reassurance of God's faithfulness in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, which tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Through Jesus Christ, we are made new. Our past mistakes and regrets are washed away by His precious blood, and we are given a fresh start, a new beginning. As we meditate on these scriptures, let us be reminded of God's unfailing love and faithfulness toward us. He is the God of second chances, the God who makes all things new. So, dear friends, let us trust in His promises, knowing that He who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1 verse 6 Let us now journey together into the heart of this message, allowing God's Word to penetrate our hearts and transform our lives. For He is the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way, the God who turns our mourning into dancing and our sorrow into joy. May His Word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path as we walk in faith and obedience. Acknowledging Past Regrets Picture this. You're standing at the edge of a vast ocean, the waves crashing against the shore. In your hands, you hold a heavy sack filled with stones. Each stone represents a regret, a mistake, a moment you wish you could erase from your past. As you stare out at the endless expanse of water, you feel the weight of those stones pulling you down, holding you back from moving forward. But here's the thing, my friends. You don't have to carry that burden alone. You see, God knows every stone in your sack. He sees every regret, every mistake, and yet, His love for you remains unchanged. In fact, it's in those moments of deepest regret that His love shines brightest. Think about Peter, one of Jesus' closest disciples. He denied knowing Jesus not once, not twice, but three times. Can you imagine the regret, the shame he must have felt? And yet, when Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't come back to condemn Peter. No, he came back to restore him, to reassure him of his love and forgiveness. Dear friends, just as Jesus reached out to Peter, he reaches out to you today. He invites you to bring your regrets to him, to lay them at the foot of the cross, and receive his healing grace. You don't have to hide behind a mask of perfection or pretend to have it all together. God sees you as you are, and He loves you unconditionally. So, take a moment to reflect on those regrets, weighing heavy on your heart. Name them, acknowledge them, and then release them into the loving arms of your Heavenly Father. Let go of the shame, the guilt, and allow His forgiveness to wash over you, like the gentle waves of the ocean. And as you do, remember this, your past does not define you. 
Your mistakes do not determine your worth. You are a beloved child of God, cherished and redeemed. So, let go of the past and embrace the future with hope and confidence in the unfailing love of your Heavenly Father. Embracing God's grace. Picture a vast ocean, its waves crashing against the shore with relentless power. In the same way, God's grace is vast and boundless, reaching out to us in our deepest struggles and sorrows. It's easy to think that we need to earn God's love, that we have to be perfect to be worthy of His grace. But the truth is, God's grace is a gift freely given, available to each and every one of us, no matter our past mistakes or shortcomings. Think about the story of the prodigal son in Luke 15 verses 11 to 32. Despite squandering his inheritance and living a life of recklessness, when the son returns home, his father doesn't scold him or turn him away. Instead, he welcomes him with open arms, celebrating his return with joy and love. This is a powerful reminder of God's unconditional love and grace towards us. No matter how far we may have wandered, or how many wrong turns we've taken, God is always ready to welcome us back into His embrace. But here's the thing about grace. It's not just about forgiveness, it's also about transformation. When we truly embrace God's grace, it changes us from the inside out. It softens our hearts, fills us with compassion, and empowers us to live lives that reflect God's love to the world around us. So, how do we embrace God's grace in our own lives? It starts with humility, recognizing that we can't do it on our own, that we need God's help and forgiveness. Then, it's about surrender, letting go of our pride, our self-reliance, and placing our trust fully in God's unfailing love and mercy. Finally, it's about gratitude, living each day with a heart overflowing with thankfulness, for the grace that has been freely given to us. When we truly grasp the depth of God's grace, it transforms how we see ourselves, how we relate to others, and how we live out our faith in the world. So, dear friends, I encourage you today to embrace God's grace with open arms. Let go of the burden of trying to earn His love, and instead, receive it as the precious gift that it is, and as you do, may you experience the joy the freedom, and the peace that come from knowing that you are loved beyond measure by the God of grace. Moving forward in faith. When we talk about moving forward in faith, it's not just about taking a physical step forward. It's about trusting God's guidance and provision every step of the way. Imagine you're standing at the edge of a cliff, unsure of what lies beyond. It's scary, isn't it? But here's the thing. God is the one holding your hand, ready to lead you into the unknown with his unwavering love and care. One of the biggest challenges we face when moving forward is impatience. We want answers now, solutions now, but God's timing is often different from ours. In Isaiah 40 verse 31, it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Trusting in God's timing means surrendering our need for control and allowing Him to work in His perfect timing. Moving forward in faith often requires us to step out of our comfort zones. It's like Peter stepping out of the boat onto the stormy sea to walk toward Jesus. Matthew 14 verse 29 Yes, it's scary, and yes, you might stumble along the way, but remember, Jesus is right there beside you, ready to catch you if you fall. So, take that leap of faith, knowing that God will never let you fall. Moving forward doesn't mean the journey will always be easy. In fact, it's quite the opposite. There will be challenges, obstacles, and setbacks along the way. But in James 1 verses 2 to 4, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. 
Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, resilience, and a deeper reliance on God's strength. As you move forward in faith, don't forget to celebrate the small victories along the way. Whether it's overcoming a fear, stepping out in obedience, or simply trusting God's promises, each step forward is worth celebrating. In Psalm 126 verse 3, it says, The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. So, take a moment to pause, reflect, and give thanks for how far God has brought you. Finally, as you move forward in faith, anchor yourself in God's word. In Psalm 119 verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. God's word provides guidance, wisdom, and strength for the journey ahead. So, immerse yourself in scripture, pray without ceasing, and allow God's word to illuminate your path as you move forward in faith. Letting go of shame and guilt. Shame and guilt can be like heavy chains, dragging us down, and keeping us from fully experiencing the freedom and joy that God desires for us. But here's the good news. God's love is bigger than any mistake we've ever made. In fact, His love is so vast that it covers over all our sins, wiping the slate clean and giving us a fresh start. Think of it like this. Imagine you're carrying a backpack filled with rocks. Each rock represents a mistake or regret from your past. The weight of the backpack makes it hard to stand up straight, let alone move forward. But when you come to Jesus and confess your sins, it's like he takes off the backpack and throws it away. Suddenly, you feel light and free, ready to run the race of life with confidence and joy. So how do we let go of shame and guilt? It starts with accepting God's forgiveness. In 1 John 1 verse 9, we're told, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Notice it doesn't say some sins or only the really bad sins. It says all sins. That means there's nothing too big or too small for God to forgive. But sometimes, even after we've asked for forgiveness, we still struggle to let go of our shame and guilt. We might think, how could God possibly forgive me for what I've done? Or, I don't deserve His grace. But here's the truth. None of us deserve God's grace. It's a gift freely given, not because of anything we've done to earn it, but because of who God is and how much He loves us. And when we truly grasp the depth of God's love for us, it changes everything. Instead of wallowing in shame and guilt, we can stand tall as beloved children of God, confident in His forgiveness and acceptance. We can look to the future with hope and expectation, knowing that God has great things in store for us. So today, I want to encourage you to let go of shame and guilt. Lay them at the foot of the cross and embrace the freedom that comes from knowing you are loved and forgiven. Don't let the mistakes of your past define you. Instead, allow God's grace to shape you into the person He created you to be, a person of faith, hope, and love. Remember, dear friends, God has not given up on you. His arms are always open wide, ready to welcome you back into His loving embrace. So let go of shame and guilt and step into the abundant life that God has prepared for you. Let's take a moment now to reflect on these words and invite God's healing presence into our lives. Finding strength in God's promises. In the midst of life's storms, it's natural to feel overwhelmed and uncertain. But even in our darkest moments, God's promises remain a beacon of hope guiding us through the darkness and into the light. Think about it for a moment. Have you ever faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable? Maybe it was a health issue, a financial setback, or a broken relationship. In those times, it's easy to feel like giving up, like there's no way forward. But that's when we need to hold on to God's promises tightly. What are some of these promises? Well, let's take a look. First, there's the promise of provision. In Matthew 6 verse 26, Jesus reminds us, Look at the birds of the air. 
They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? This verse assures us that God cares for us deeply and will provide for our needs, just as He cares for the birds of the air. Then, there's the promise of protection. Psalm 91 verse 4 says, He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. When we feel vulnerable and afraid, we can take comfort in knowing that God is our protector, watching over us and keeping us safe from harm. And let's not forget the promise of peace. In John 14 verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Even in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, we can experience a deep and lasting peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that God is with us. These are just a few examples of the many promises God has made to His children throughout Scripture. Each one is a reminder of His faithfulness, His love, and His commitment to walk with us through every season of life. So, dear friends, when you find yourself feeling weary and discouraged, take hold of God's promises. Write them on your heart, meditate on them day and night, and let them fill you with hope and strength. For in God's promises, we find the courage to face tomorrow and the assurance that He is always by our side. Walking in victory, as we release our past regrets and move forward in faith, we step into the victory that is already ours in Christ. You see, victory isn't just a distant goal. It's a present reality for every believer. When Jesus triumphed over sin and death on the cross, He secured our victory for all time. That means no matter what challenges we face, we're not fighting for victory, we're fighting from victory. Imagine it like this, you're in a race and the finish line is already crossed by Jesus. You're not running to catch up, you're running with the confidence that the race is won. That's the kind of victory we walk in, as followers of Christ. It's not about our own strength or abilities, but about trusting in the finished work of Jesus. So, what does walking in victory look like in our everyday lives? It means facing trials and hardships with courage and resilience, knowing that God is on our side. It means choosing faith over fear, love over hatred, and hope over despair. It means living in the freedom and power of the Holy Spirit, knowing that nothing can stand against us when God is for us. But walking in victory doesn't mean we'll never face challenges or setbacks. In fact, the Bible promises that we will encounter trials of various kinds. However, 1 John 5 verse 4 assures us that everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Our victory isn't dependent on our circumstances, but on our faith in the One who has already overcome the world. So, dear friends, let's embrace the truth that we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Romans 8 verse 37 Let's walk in the confidence of knowing that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead leaves in us. Romans 8 verse 11 And let's live each day with the assurance that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 As we do, we'll discover a newfound sense of purpose, joy, and fulfillment in our lives. We'll experience the abundant life that Jesus promised to those who follow Him John 10 verse 10. And we'll inspire others to do the same, shining as lights in a dark world and pointing others to the source of our victory, Jesus Christ. Today, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the past regrets that may be weighing you down. Surrender them to God and receive His forgiveness and grace. Then, with renewed faith and hope, take that first step forward into the future God has prepared for you. Dear friends, remember that God has not given up on you. His love for you is unfailing, His mercy endless. So, let go of the past, embrace the future, 
and walk boldly in the knowledge that you are a beloved child of God, redeemed and set free. May his peace and joy fill your hearts now and always. Before we close today, let us come together in prayer, inviting God's presence to dwell among us and strengthen us as we apply the message to our lives. Heavenly Father, as we gather in your presence, we are reminded of your unfailing love and endless grace. We thank you for the truth revealed in your word today that you have not given up on us. Help us, Lord, to fully embrace this truth in our hearts and lives. We come before you, acknowledging the weight of our past regrets. We lay them down at your feet, knowing that your forgiveness knows no bounds. Wash over us with your cleansing grace, Lord, and free us from the chains of shame and guilt. Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, that we might be set free. Help us, Lord, to fully accept and receive this gift of grace, knowing that we are loved, accepted, and forgiven in your sight. As we move forward in faith, Lord, guide our steps and strengthen our resolve. Help us to let go of the fear and doubt that hold us back, and to trust in your promises for our lives. May your Holy Spirit empower us to walk boldly in the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, we lift up our hearts to you, knowing that you are our hope and our strength. Fill us afresh with your peace and joy that we may radiate your love to those around us. And may all glory and honor be unto you, both now and forevermore. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Amen. As we've reflected on God's unfailing love and grace today, I encourage you to take a moment to spread that message of hope with others. Like and subscribe to our channel to stay connected with uplifting content that reminds you of God's faithfulness. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a new message of hope and inspiration and share this video with someone who needs to hear that God has not given up on them. Together, let's spread the light of God's love to every corner of the world.